uh, financial freedom is something which everybody wants but there is no one single definition of what is financial freedom uh, but uh, let me talk in terms of two things one is the time and one is uh, money uh, when you are financially free you have the advantage of deciding how to spend your money uh, and how to use your time both these uh, choices are with you so when it comes to time management you can really do whatever you want now if you enjoy uh, meeting more and more patients uh, as a doctor and you are 72 years of age and you are enjoying what you are doing there is absolutely no reason for you to retire that brings me to one very dangerous way of uh, how people say oh he is 70 and he is still working so which means he is not truly retired that is completely wrong he is enjoying what he is doing she is enjoying what he is doing so therefore they are doing it I have friends I have cousins etc who are working into their 60s and uh, one cousin working in his 70s right he is just enjoying what he is doing he does not have any other hobbies or she does not have any other hobbies so they are just enjoying what they are doing it helps them travel it helps them meet more people uh, so I don't see anything wrong in working beyond your age of 60, 70, 80 if you enjoy doing that or if you have no other hobbies and you don't know what to do why would you just sit at home saying oh I don't know what to do I am getting bored when uh, somebody is willing to pay you for what you are doing so that's the best joy because you are now saying I'm not doing any work I'm enjoying what I'm doing and for that I'm getting paid what can be better than that so that that is the uh, advantage of being retired so first of all the time you decide how to spend uh, with whom to work how much to work whether to work what dress to wear right you have a choice of all that but having once made the commitment if I make a commitment that I'll come to a college and teach every Wednesday for two hours that time is fixed I cannot say oh I am retired so I will come whenever I want I can't do that once I am committed to something I have to still do it so but I get a choice of what to do I get a choice of saying okay I need to go and do some shopping but I will not go during the weekends I will go Monday morning 10 o'clock uh, to the departmental store or to the shop and buy whatever I want all my groceries everything I will buy on the Monday morning 11 o'clock or Monday morning 10 o'clock rather than a Saturday evening or a Sunday evening when the whole market is very crowded so that choice is something which you get but whatever you are enjoying you are going to do that second uh, another important thing I said I am going to talk about two things time and money people who have uh, really retired financially and have enough money I have not retired on exactly the amount which their financial planners say they need for example if a person is spending say 10 lakhs a year and uh, somebody multiplies by 30 and says you need 3 crores to retire that person does not retire when he reaches or she reaches 3 crores they are still working everybody has to have a comfort level for somebody 3 crores means 3 crores for somebody 3 crores means 6 crores or 8 crores saying oh I need that much I don't know what things can go wrong right so so most importantly these people are not cribbing about money those who are financially retired are not cribbing about money they make their right make they may make choices they may decide to use a premium product not use a premium product live frugally spend lavishly I know people who live very frugally but they spend a lot when it comes to travel so they will travel by the best possible class they'll stay in good hotels etc but when they come back home they'll try to cringe and they'll try to save money so it's a matter of priorities so once you're retired you would get to decide how to use your time with whom to use the time how to dress uh, when to go which meeting to attend which meeting not to attend you don't have to tell people it was a pleasure meeting you maybe it was not so you don't have to say anything you don't have to wait to meet uh, you somebody has given you a three o'clock appointment 315 you're still sitting there fretting fuming that person has not turned up or whatever right so you don't have those kind of stress you don't have the stress of money you're not worried what will happen if this doesn't happen if i don't get a raise how will i pay the emi you passed all that that is another advantage of being financially free then the question is you get a chance to uh, pursue your hobbies but uh, if you're like 90 percent of indian men uh, you may not have a hobby or maybe you are 95% of Indian men and you don't want to attend social functions etc. I think you are much better off being employed uh, rather than uh, being financially retired. You have finance, ma you have, sorry, you have money to retire. That's not really a problem. But the question is what will you do after retirement? You have no hobbies, no socializing um, and uh, you can't do reading and music the whole day. So, well, you need to find something. If you don't have um, something to do, don't retire. 
don't fool yourself into believing people in their 70s who are working are mad and they don't know etc no they know they know they don't have hobbies they need to do something and they're enjoying what they're doing they enjoy meeting those people therefore they are doing they are truly retired thank you